Rachel. When Asian people are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. When Asian people are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. So as we close our rally, we have one speaker before we finally close, but I want to say, I want to say this. I want to say a variety of things here. What we did here today is we let people in our communities know that we are standing up and we are not going to take it anymore. They can't keep treating us like we're less than dogs, like we're less than human. Right. They can't keep treating us like we don't matter. Because let me tell you, in the media there's a war on Asian people. Whether it's yellow face or the racist depictions of us as subhuman, as Fu Manchus, as people who are caricatures, or it's the media that is non-stop demonizing China and Chinese people. Because we see propaganda going on and on and on. And you had to notice on Fox News, they had somebody come on Fox News on Tucker Carlson who said that he wants the US military to sit on a throne of Chinese skulls. That's what they said about us. That's disgusting. In Texas, there was a person running for literally the state house who said that all Chinese people shouldn't be allowed to go to universities in public. She's running for office. This is what we're up against, the family. Bench? This is what we're up against. We are up against a non-stop tirade of anti-Chinese propaganda, and we're up against a U.S. war machine that wants nothing more than to make money off of our communities and make money off of this war that they're trying to create. So we have to stand up, and we have to fight back. And what I want to say as we close is that even though the U.S. government has made us out to be the enemy, enemy number one, in Vietnam, in Korea, in Japan, in World War II, and they're trying to do it right now, we are not the enemy. And we need to be real about who the real enemy is. And that the real enemy are the millionaires and cops and the billionaires that they serve. That's the real enemy. Yeah. We have to be clear. So I want to say as we close out, what we did today is we stood up, we had our voices heard, and we let our communities know we are not going to stop fighting until we see this racism end. So are you going to stop fighting? No! Are you going to be in the streets again? Yes! Are you tired? No! Are you tired? No! I'm happy to hear it. I want to close on this. I want us all to say this. I am proud to be Asian. I am proud to be Asian. I will fight and love, like I will fight for and love my community. I will fight for and love my community. And I will not stop. And I will not stop. Until I get justice. Until I get justice. Until we get justice. Until we get justice. So please come talk to any of the organizers. Sign up. Stay involved. Get to be a part of this movement. It happens with all of us. And you are all the most dedicated. So thank you so much for being here. Yeah.